Taters, Brian Kerr and first John Roder. So is it win or bust for Juan de Ramos this afternoon? The two times winner of the UEFA Cup comes into this match under intense pressure. Tottenham bottom of the Premier League with only two points from their six league matches so far. And this will be a very difficult day for the visitors. Vizsla defeated Barcelona 1-0 here in their Champions League qualification tie. And the Polish side are currently second in their domestic league with five wins out of seven so far. Two changes then to the Vizsla side that started at White Hart Lane. Glavaki comes into the defence. He's an experienced Polish international. Piotr Brozek into midfield. His twin brother Pavel leads the attack alongside Dziezak, who scored the goal in the first leg. And what an important goal that could be. As for Tottenham, well, as expected, Ledley King returns to the team, having been rested for Sunday's defeat at Portsmouth. Gareth Bale has passed a fitness test. Seven changes in total from the side that started at Fratton Park. Pavlyuchenko and Chorluka both ineligible. Bent and Campbell, well, they may play up front together. Lennon, Modric and Gunter also coming in. David Bentley, surprisingly, among those dropping to the bench. Tottenham kicking from left to right in this opening half in their change colours. Scooped away to safety. Brozek. Plenty of red shirts have streamed forward. And a poor effort in the end from uh, Junior Diaz. Genus with the ball in field. Gets it back from Modric. Bales on that far side. Tottenham need a measured cross from him. Almost fell for Lennon. And it'll be scrambled away to safety by Glavaki. That was that was a real chance when the ball came in. It was Peter Bozak was very, very dodgy in dealing with the cross. It was uncertain. Lennon was in behind him, just about got it away. Bent with the header. Clearback. Actually scored the winner against Barcelona in the uh, Champions League qualification round, but uh, unfortunately for Vizsla Krakow, they'd lost the first leg by four goals to nil. Now the flag stays down, it's Brozek! Didn't get hold of that at all. Well, that was a real chance. That's the, re the first obvious clear-cut chance to match. The same ball again, straight ball from uh, Brzezinski forward into the channel, he pulls away. And he should, Cantoro should have known an awful lot better. Cora couldn't get there. Easy shot, really, for Gomez to save as it was fired in by uh, Pavel Brozek. It's surprising that he got so much room to get the shot. The players are jumping out of the way and torn on the backward gate and King before he actually hits it. If you look now as he makes contact. King jumps up out of the way and Woodgate half turns his back and that, that's the problem for Spurs, they always look unconvincing defensively. Pass by Glavaki. Before he's spreading his arms almost as if to say, well, what choice do you give me? And Mr Tudor from Romania, he looks very calm indeed. This stage. He looks like one of the Tudors, doesn't he, with that uh, beard? <laughs> at the, got, at has, the court of Henry VIII. He hasn't got the gear with him today, though. What can Tottenham do from this free kick? It's better. And still no real problems for uh, Pavelek. He was challenged by Woodgate there. Jonathan Woodgate, yes, I thought he would be uh, cautioned, and indeed he has been. Pavelek trying to clear it away. 
It's a really silly foul to get a yellow card for for a defender. It means he can't make really make a decent go for a mad tackle in the match. Or he's got to be very disciplined the rest of the game. That's 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 ridiculous. Best to get the free kick. Direct effort on goal from here. Jimmy Diaz is certainly thinking about that. Being advised by uh, Kleber. And it certainly does look as though uh, the Costa Rican international is going to try and test out the Brazilian Gomez in the Tottenham goal. Diaz with it. Gomez passes the test. Handy enough ball straight down his throat. Went around the wall easy enough. A few uh, fellas jumping in the wall like they were hoping they didn't get a belt of it rather than saying I'm prepared to take it in the mush here if that means I'm going to stop a goal. Gunter. Lennon. Modric. A little bit of space ahead of him. Now on that far side it's Bale. Four in the middle waiting for the cross. Goalkeeper came for it. It was headed away from him though by a Tottenham head. Gunter goes down. Belatedly, the whistle does go. Yes, you, Diaz. Tottenham need one set piece delivery to be perfect. Not had any really so far that have even been rated as good. And they've got big players coming up from the defence. Woodgate, Ledley King, huge man coming into the box. The car a decent enough bent. Genus with it. Right towards Campbell. Nobody getting a touch on it. Oh, it's a great chance for Vizsla Krakow. Gomez with the save. And he denies Sobolevsky the opening goal of the match. It's real trouble for Spurs here. It's a very great penalty with the run. Good save, good stop with his feet. King just allows him to run by him. Away by King. Not that far though. Headed down by Bagaski and just hooked away to safety. Not too far though. Bagaski on that far side. Driven in towards Broski. Diaz. Well, there were three defenders that threw themselves at Junior Diaz, and maybe, just maybe, that was the difference. He was unable to get the power on it, and the save from Gomez. The scores are all over the place in this little spell, John. There are, not, there are no defenders around, not enough defenders. The midfield players are not helping out. Look, there's no balance or shape to it. Great effort in the end to block it, three players. Arriving just in time to block the as uh, you see Janice is in it, Woodgate is there, Gomez ends up taking it easily. But Janice and Zakora not getting back goal side quick enough. A real scare for Tottenham then in stoppage time at the end of this first half. Junior Diaz has been lively for Vizsla Krakow. Tottenham have been anything but lively. Half time, Vizsla Krakow nil, Tottenham Hotspur nil. Second half, they've just joined us, Tottenham in their change colours of all black this afternoon, and they concede an early corner, it comes off Ledley King, played in by Sobolevsky. A small but vocal contingent of Tottenham supporters in the ground, and they're in that corner where Boguski is about to take this kick from. Boot. Gareth Bale just caught there by uh, Lobodzinski. Free kick taken quickly. Modric. 
Nicely played. Not a nice shot, though, coming in in the end from Frazier Campbell. But better from Spurs. Nice, quick attack. Modric getting the ball, he gets the free kick, gets it done quickly. Good ball on the inside. Fraser Campbell. It's a fair strike, it was travelling well. Lennon up against Brozek. Too deep. Campbell. Modric. Tries to fire it in, and that would have gone into the bottom corner had it not been for Pavelek. But well, that was a lot better, John. A string of passes around the middle of the field. You see the final, the final touch from Modric. Good drive. Instead, it's uh, laid wide. Lennon tries to go past the fullback Brozek. Genus. Played in deep. Campbell was underneath it. Oh, it's gone in. Frazier Campbell and Tottenham Hotspur have what could be the most important goal of their season. Frazier Campbell getting a touch onto it. Delight for the Tottenham fans who have had precious little to cheer about this season. Well, finally a good ball in, but the defender, what was he doing? He's under a little bit of pressure from Campbell here. But he, he, he heads it back into his own goal, Glavaki. It's an own goal. Um, but it was a good spell by Spurs again, that little bit of control and composure we're looking for. Last ball Bale played in was far too near the goalkeeper. Better cross than that, but a better run by Campbell. Lobozinski. And the Tottenham conceded just 67 seconds after scoring the opening goal at White Hart Lane. I wouldn't rule them out. Would, wouldn't rule out them conceding here either. They haven't looked particularly comfortable and well balanced defensively. There's even a, a defensively. There's a, an edgy one from uh, King. Just knocks her into touch. We drill him to swing his left leg at it. Diaz goes over in the area. Sobolevsky. <laughs> Gomez right behind it. Forward comes Zakora. It's a great run from the Ivory Coast International. Didier Zakora! Pavelek got a touch. And the touch was enough. And the game opening up now. Zakora just runs through from the centre circle all the way into the penalty area. Runs by Sobolewski. Gets a clear side of goal. You see him here. He's in on his left foot. Has a chance. Bent. O'Hara's in support. It's Bent. Gets the shot in. It's probably further wide than it looked. Well, that was a great bit of play by Darren Bent. Looked like he was up in the long circuit. Put the ball in from Modric. Takes her up here. Gets away from Gavaki. Turns him. Good drive. Just outside the far post. But a nice bit of play. Looks like he's getting his confidence. He's had a hard time since he's come from Charlton. So we'll get the decision. Genus thought about taking it quickly. O'Hara. Modric. O'Hara. Lennon. Gets the ball in and Bent was so close to making a telling connection there. Confirmation of Kleber's yellow card. Oh. Towards the middle. And Rozek with the chance. Well, that's great defending by Ledley King there. I do think he's starting to look a little bit sore, but he's played well. And here we see his value to Spurs. The cross comes in. Real chance. Well, a goal here for Vizsla Krakow, and it'll be a very nervous finale for Tottenham Hotspur. Gomez with the save and off the post. That's awful by Tottenham. Zenzuk's corner straight forward to the far post. A header, free header, hits the post. Bogowski. That'll give Vizsla Krakow hope. Bukowski appeals for handball. Coming mainly from Sobolewski, referee not interested. Marcelo looks as though he's uh, basically been thrown on to go up front, just 
Make a nuisance of himself, and he might do here. Gomez has come off his line, and that is surely the equaliser for Vizsla Krakow. And there's time for another goal as well. Because Tottenham are going to have a very, very nervous last few minutes in this UEFA Cup tie. What was Gomez doing there, though? But look at Lady King and Woodgate here. They're all over the place. There's no understanding, no communication with the back four. Simple ball through here by Diaz. Woodgate is turning, he's falling. King is not in touch. That's just a simple finish for Brozek. Gomez is nowhere. You see Woodgate scrambling, trying to get a half hold on him. Tottenham will bring plenty back. Missed the crack off goal. And we could be heading for extra time. Kleber! Gomez with the save, and again from Brozek. Well, what a chance. Wasn't cleared too well. From the corner, the first shot. Sure, we'd see it again. Gomez makes the save, and then another chance for Brozek. Marcelo couldn't get that. There's Dawson's second touch. The first one was a good header, good winning header, but he clears the ball. But now, is there going to be anyone around up the pitch for Spurs to get a hold of it, or is it just going to be like this, getting the ball slinged into the box and hanging on? Marcelo with the header, Brozek goes down in the area, appeals for a penalty, not given. I didn't think it was, it was a good header, well won, Marcelo gets the header, here's Dawson, gets his leg across and wins the ball clean. It's a foul, and it's up, Tom Gunter. That and might be just enough to get them there, John. Just coming on to the fourth minute, just the end of the fourth minute now, so they may have escaped with the skin of their teeth. Overall, the chances in the match, they haven't had haven't had many clear-cut ones, depending on the no-G to score. And if allowed Vizsla Krakow to get maybe seven or eight half-decent chances of the match, but they, they want to know after that, they just get through, get through with this, and move on from here. Never mind the performance, just look at the result as far as Tottenham are concerned. A one-all draw in Poland, but the victory at White Hart Lane enough to take them through into the group stage of the UEFA Cup. Glavaki with an own goal, Pavel Brozek with the equaliser. It was a very nervous finale from Tottenham Hotspur. It wasn't always pretty, but they are through. 1-1 on the day, Tottenham winning 3-2 on aggregate.